We picked up a customer in the 2005 timeframe that required our molds to have many cores to release the part. We started installing those cores using a sign plate method, which worked very well, but we knew there had to be an easier way. That's when we looked into the five axis option on the UMC 750. We purchased our first UMC 750 in 2014, and that worked great. We were saving money, less setup time, more accurate parts. Our molds continued to get larger and larger. That's when we decided to purchase the VR9. To keep our large mold blocks in place stationary and move the head around the workpiece versus moving the workpiece around the head. I can cut the cavity face, the sides and the ends of the mold block in one setup. So you're looking at something that would have took three or four days, took three or four hours. And anytime you're doing a manual setup, you're open for human error. You know, by the time we get to that process, we've already had 60 hours of machining in this one aluminum mold block. My name is Matt Antoine. I am the president of Mallory Pattern Works. We are located here in Toledo, Ohio. So the VR9 has a HSK 63 spindle that has a RPM range of up to 14,000 RPM. That's been plenty. The surface finishes have been spot on. The mold block that's on the table right now took approximately 45 hours to machine, and 20 of that is five axis machining. So I started here in 1998 as an apprentice machinist. My dad owned the company at the time, and it was a very successful pattern shop back then. We have since transitioned from aluminum castings to billet tools. So all of our billet molds are now billet aluminum, as well as all of our rotational molds are billet aluminum. Our first uh, Haas CNC was a VF7. The thing that sold us the most about it was the 84 inches of travel that it had that fit our work envelope perfectly. And after a year of running that first machine, we purchased our second and third ones right away. Our current total count of Haas machines is three VF7s, one VF9, one VF9 with an elevated pedestal, one UMC 750, and one VR9. In the past year and a half, we have needed the VR9 on at least 15 to 20 molds that we built to complete the job in-house. Had it not been for the VR9, we would have had to spend extra money by going to another shop.